Hello, we are Team 16 from the Senior Design class. We are going to present our project robotic in I'm Michael Sherman, student from FIU, then computer engineer. Lost can be found anywhere. Plus, it's part of a complex building. However, they are expensive to maintain. 45 bucks per week, 2560 dollars per year. We are going to solve this. There is going the inflation 6.6% up with the consumer price index compared to last year. People need to save more money with our product. People is going to save more money doing their loan. In the future, everyone's you know, going to be asking why we haven't used robots to do this kind of chores. We are going to be that step people need so everything is robotics. Why us we have a diverse pattern, different technical fields and also this is a very important issue to solve. Get involved, help us, let's move humanity forward. We are going to make a robotic no more so people are stress less about their loans. It's going to be the robot is going to be easy to use, user friendly, it's going to collect data from the currents and the voltage to troubleshoot. We are going to prove the algorithm by collecting object information of the environment. It's also going to have a chair station so it recharges automatically. I talk about the project description, I talk about the inflation, global inflation issue and the future we see and our product and how to solve it. Thanks for your time. Hi, I'm Blake Wolford. Let's talk about our intended users, uses and background. So we think that products should be designed for the user. As long as we keep their needs in mind, that's going to keep us on track and giving them the features that they want. So who are our users? Well, anyone with a lawn to take care of. That'd be your homeowners, housekeepers, even lawn care professionals who spend their day taking care of other people's lawns. And when they come home, maybe they don't want to have to do theirs as well. And of course the use of mowing the lawn. What you might not know is that autonomous lawn mowers being able to mow continuously every day. They're able to use the grass shavings and leaf shavings as a sort of fertilizer to give you a healthier lawn overall. So those are our users and uses. Let's talk about background. When it comes to the background, we looked at three comparable products on the market, some of the best out there. That's the Works Landroid S, the Husqvarna Automower 435X, and the Gardena Seleno Life. So the Landroid from Works, it focuses on a modular design. So that has add-on devices that allow you to select the features you want, and leave off the ones that you don't. And the goal is to keep the price low for consumers who just want a straightforward entry-level lawnmower. The trick is that the small version, the S, that we reviewed can only mow an eighth of an acre, which is a pretty small area. And even with that small range, it still comes in at $1,000 before any add-ons. If you want an anti-theft GPS or anything like that, that's going to cost you hundreds of dollars more. So it really doesn't succeed in keeping the price point low. Next, we looked at the Automower 435X, which is one of the flagship um, autonomous lawnmowers on the market. And this one has all sorts of features. It has a GPS that can map out your lawn so you can establish no-go zones. But the problem is that takes one to two weeks for it to even begin to work. So until then, it's as if the feature doesn't exist. And at that, the Husqvarna Automower comes in at a whopping $4,800 before any add-ons. And this is a consistent issue across the market. We looked at the Seleno Life as well, and similar issues arise there, where the prices are too high and the features are there, but they aren't intelligently implemented. We want to keep our product beneath a $1,000 price point and intelligently implement only those necessary features so we give the users exactly what they need. So now I'm going to turn it off to my colleague. He's going to talk to you about intellectual property. Hi, I'm Fred Mohaber with Senior Design Team 16, and we'll be discussing intellectual property. What is intellectual property? Intellectual property is intangible property that includes inventions, designs, brand names, and any type of artistic work. Some of the patents that will be discussed include the autonomous lawnmower and a system for navigation thereof, the lawnmower robot, and the autonomous lawnmower. For our first patent, the autonomous lawnmower and a system uh, for navigation thereof include multiple hardware components, such as the battery, motors, modules, sensors like LiDAR and sonar sensors for obstacle and slope detection, and storage of the map. 
Some of the claims that relate really close to our project design are a navigational system included in the MOR body to aid the controller in controlling the MOR within predetermined areas of operation. Also, the MOR will include a cutter module aside from the main cutting blade, which will help trim edge the edges of the lawn. Now, how we plan on not infringing on this patent is by not including edge cutting technology. Instead, our mower will be programmed to go as close to the edge as possible and trim the edges that way. Lastly, the mower will be programmed to mow in various directions without mapping and saving lay the layout of the lawn. Instead, it'll use the various sensors to know where the uh, device is located. Now for our second patent, the lawnmower robot, Here's a uh, diagram of the caster wheel installation and location. Some of the claims that relate to our project for this patent are the lawnmower robot will have caster wheels close to the front side of the inner body of the device. It will also have support to assist holding the outer top cover. Second, the, the lawnmower robot will use ultrasonic sensors to detect the slope of the yard. This will be used when the device is propelling downhill to reduce the, the, the speed of the device. Lastly, it'll have a keypad and display installed on the top for controlling the device. Now, how we plan on not infringing on the second patent is by not including caster wheels installed on the under the underbody of our mower. Instead, it'll have two side wheels to help uh, support the front of the mower. Second, our device will not include ultrasonic sensors for slope detection. And lastly, the keypad and screen will not be installed on the device but instead, our device will be strictly app controlled for the user. Hello, my name is Jason Menendez, and today we're going to be talking about the ethical considerations of the robotic lawnmower. Our ethical dilemma was the ability to ensure the safety of those around the robotic lawnmower when it is active. Let me be clear that a robotic lawnmower is going to be just as safe or even safer than a regular lawnmower. However, objects going underneath the robotic lawnmower is what our main concern was. The solutions for these was to install sensors to detect objects that are within the vicinity of the robotic lawnmower and for it to navigate around. The only issue with this is that we wouldn't have this installed at the time of release of the robotic lawnmower. It would only be after, and this is due to time constraints as well as obtaining parts for this. The second would to apply a kill switch that would ensure the chance of no harm towards the object, which in this, it would just completely shut off in the presence of the object, and especially when it gets close to the blades underneath. The third, which would be apply uh, our application. It was sent a signal, the robotic lawnmower was sent a signal towards the application of the owner, and they will then be able to go outside and take the object away, or if the object removes itself, then it will continue on with its path. The fourth and final would be to have supervision of the robotic lawnmower. The issue with this is that it defeats our next point, which is what the good life is. The problem with this is that it would have the owner always constantly monitoring the robotic lawnmower, and our robotic lawnmower is something that inherently makes life easier. Our whole idea with this, as well as the surveys that we took, is that our robotic lawnmower is supposed to take away a task that becomes uh, tedious and whatnot. And because it, it takes away this task, it makes life easier for people in order to have that, that perfect lawn, that ideal lawn that they would currently want. Our product, simply put, is the exact definition of what the good life is, and that is to make man's life easier. Thank you. I'm Melissa Fung. I'll be presenting our concept development part of our senior design project. This is our combinational table, which displays the combinational of the com components we collaborate with, with our project. For our final selection, we went with Wi-Fi in the wireless communication section over Bluetooth in the cutting blade section. Over the weed eater screen, we went with a generic mower blade, which you can find from any hardware store. In the controlling unit section, we went with a Raspberry Pi Zero over a Arduino and a particle board. For the materials, uh, our physical body is going to be made out of a PPGF30 filament, which is weatherproof and heat resistant. Advantages of this build is it uses Wi-Fi, so it's stable over longer ranges. It uses a Raspberry Pi Zero, so it's much more powerful than the other option, and has a wider sensor implementation option. Uh, it requires less frequent changes of the mower blade, since it's not a weed eater screen. Disadvantages is it has higher power consumption over the other option due to Wi Fi and uh, Raspberry Pi Zero. It 
slightly more expensive. Uh, due to Wi-Fi, user would require a stable Wi-Fi connection to stay connected. The concept selection shows our three options and calculates their total weight by taking into factor the objectives and constraints. Option one failed because it failed to meet the constraints. Option two is our final selection and it scored the highest, which is why it's our final selection. Option three scored the lowest, so it failed. So in conclusion, our product aims to be as user-friendly as possible while being implemented on a Raspberry Pi Zero and having user interaction through Wi-Fi. The robot is designed to be reliable as possible when it comes to handling the user's lawn. It's designed to be as affordable as possible compared to the generic lawnmowers you find on the market. And finally, it's designed for people who can't physically mow their lawns, don't have the financial capabilities, or even the due to time constraints. Thank you.